Hey everyone, it's Ellen here, and today is Monday, so you know what that is. It's Mini Monday Madness! We're creating this fall, simple, easy mini painting. Yep, this is based off the popular one that I did a while ago, the spring. But we're going to do a fall version. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section, and let's get started! All right, so I'll go with my supplies. I have a three inch square, 100% cotton, uh, Arches cold pressed paper taped down with just scotch tape on this piece of cardboard here. I have my palette here with my paints. I just have the cabin yellow deep. Um, I have the brilliant orange. I mix it in together just to get a lighter yellow orange. I've got the quinacridone magenta mixed with some yellow to make a little red. I'll be using my peacock blue, maybe some green, uh, but not. I have my water jars up here. You can't really see them, but they're up here. Clank, clank. Uh, paper towel. I'll be working with several brushes, probably some big ones like Grumbacher number 10, and then some smaller ones. So this is a uh, pretty, it's like a an homage to like one of these mini Mondays that I did really well with on YouTube. And um, I figured that's a spring looking one. Let's do a fall looking one. And this is so easy. I think I've shown you guys so many times how to do this wet on wet. But for those who are new, let's try out a fall one. So you have your little square here, and we're going to get it wet with some water. You want it damp, but not super wet. So I'll grab my Grumbacher 10, and I'm just going to go three quarters of the way down, and then fill up the top half area, just like that. Not puddly wet, but wet. I'm going to grab some of my Peacock Blue water it down. You don't have to have peacock blue. You can have a kind of blue you want. Just some kind of blue color. And we're just going to put that in here in the top, going across. Just like so. If it doesn't blend downward, you just lift up your pad and you go like that and it just starts to fall down. Look at that. See how it's just going down, down. <laughs> I get a little wet, put some more paint on here. Again, I'll go down even faster, see that? We're going to lift some of that paint up. Because we want to flood it in with the trees. Now see, it had a nice ombre effect because it went down a little bit, but not too much. So while that's still damp, we're going to take any color of tree you feel like making, like an orange or red, a yellow. Let's try this orange color. You want it creamy like wasabi. I don't know if you know what wasabi is. It's like that mustard that comes with sushi. So you just want it a little bit wet, not super wet. And then you're just going to take your brush and tap that in. And it should bleed nicely. Like a little tree. See, it's making the little... The wetter it is, the wetter it is, the paint, the more it will spread. We'll get some yellow in here. See, so watch. Ooh, spreading. Look at that, little fall trees. And you push up a little bit more over here and it goes up a little higher. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I know I get excited with the silliest things. And the red, red orange. Put one right here, little one over here. Look at that. I love it. <laughs> I know I get excited over the silliest things. Let's put some orange. You can tap that right there. That yellow might have got a little too crazy. If it gets a little too crazy, you can tame it. You go back and just lift it up. Gonna have your brush. Lift it up. Or take a paper towel. I just lift up the paint you think is just a little gone wild. And it still bleeds nicely, but you're taming the shrew. In other words, you're calming that sucker down. You can grab your blue paint in that area that you tame the shrew with and just tap it in a little bit. Make 
and you still have those little trees and you go back in and grab some more paint and throw in a little darker color just on top of here a little bit down here and it will bleed nicely and look at that it looks like a you know they get that fall see zooming in bold tree i'm adding some real deep red now so i've got that magenta i add the yellow i have some van dyke brown i'll tap that in darker because it was looking a little pinkish i want a little deep red and i'll add that in there This is so fun and easy. Come on, anybody beginner can do this. Don't tell me you can't do this. It's a lot of fun. Grab that yellow and orange. Woohoo, it's a little bright. Put some more orange in here. Brighten it up a little bit. And I grab some more of that yellow, mix with a little orange for the tonality. Just put that in there. Look at all these fun trees. And you can grab a little brown too. I have a Van Dyke brown. I love the brightness of those color trees. And then we're going to go back in and we're going to add little um, branches. So you can have a brown one there. Isn't that cute? I'm sorry, I just love it. <laughs> At this point, if you did want to make um, little clouds, you could take your little paper towel, if it's still wet, and lift up the paint. And you got some nice clouds. It's so easy to do this. There's your clouds, right? Okay, so now the bottom area, um, you can keep it in the tonalities as well or add some greens. So we're gonna get this wet. Clean brush, clean water. Don't hit the um, trees yet because if you do, it's gonna blend. So if you want to wait till it dries, which you could do that and go back and use it and go back and fill the bottom in, or you can do it now, but you have to leave a little white space. So I'm going to dry it because I want to touch right up to the top of that and then come back. All right, so I dried that part and I'm going to go back in here, grab my brush with water on it, go right up to the edge here, all the way down to the bottom. Now you can add, I have this uh, olive green and some Van Dyke brown I'm mixing in here. You can add the green, blend it. You can add some Prussian blue and brown right on the edge here. You can add some more brown. See, it's trying to make the trees backwards. So if we were actually trying to make like a um, a lake with a reflection of the trees, you can just do the same thing backwards and put some blue in between that. But we're not doing that today. We're gonna have ground. So I'm grabbing this blue, this Prussian blue, getting right up into those tree areas and some of this brown. And then I'm grabbing the green again, a little bit of yellow, just going like this. Put some yellow in here and a little bit of the brown. We want it to have like a fall meadow. Just pushing the paint around. Grab some of this brown and some more yellow. Oops. We want it to feel more fall. Just with the yellow in the front, the brown in the middle, the 
brown back here with some blue. Maybe a touch of the red. Just kind of get a little darker back here. Look at that, how cute. Now, of course, we're going to have to let this dry. Can throw a little more brown, a little more green in here. Just dabbing it in for interest. I don't want it all so brownish green. Let me grab a little orange too. Doesn't look very fallish. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this dry and we're gonna come back. All right, so we're gonna come back and I have my new brush. This is a Princeton Long Round number four. I ordered this little skinny little guy. Look how tiny that is. So I can do really tiny um, branches and details. So I take that. I have a little, I cheated with a little pants gray slash little black in there. And we're going to go in here and make like little teeny branches. The tree. Little skinny branches. The tree. Isn't that cute? And it really feels like a fall tree. And I don't do it like, like a real tree. I kind of sporadically put them out there. See how I'm doing that? Just little, little, you can see the branches, but it's not the full tree. It's the hint of the tree. Just putting a bunch of them out there like that. This brush is great. It's such a tiny little point to it. Just for those really nice details. Get the darker trunk in the bottom here. And you've got these fall trees. You could put a little fence in if you wanted to, just some grass. Um, got that Van Dyke brown. I'm switching my palette over so you can see. Here's this brown color. Could put a little fence here. Make it look like more. I like guess just an old decrepit fence in the field, like that. And then you take some brown, not too wet. I'm gonna just gonna go up like this, little lines up like this, like wheat, crazy grass field. Mm. It's in the foreground. And you can just take the little tips. See, I'm just touching the top of the little grass that I made, making these little marks, like so it looks like almost like wheat grass. some more of that paint. If you made this really pale, it'd be much, you can make a much paler brown than I did, but since I didn't, just dabbing it in here on the tips. Give it some more interest. Also with the paint, you can take some of your bright yellows and oranges and just kind of, a little more concentrated too, just kind of put some all around in the field out here. Like the leaves have ballooned to the ground. Just a little bit a little orange. And some red. All the colored leaves just like flown to the ground. And you can add some yellow down in here, yellow, orange, grassy kind of colors. Just like that, you know, play around with it. Keep adding in the little orange touches and the yellow. You can add some up here, really tiny. I'm gonna 
had some green grass in here too. Mix it up. Can't all be brown now. Put some teeny ones back here. This brush is great. If you get a nice little teeny brush like this, with a nice point, get a nice, get a lot of fine detail in here. Okay, so I think we're quite done with this. I'm gonna lift this up from the tape and see what we've created. Does it look cute? I mean, it's super cute. Just buy a cute little three inch frame. Um, I know Hobby Lobby carries them. Some people said they had a hard time finding them, but you know, check another Hobby Lobby or even Home Goods sometimes has them. And look at that, mini Monday Madness, the fall version. That was super easy. Come on, anybody can do that. Just take the little branches. You see how I just made those trees bloom like that? So cute. I know you guys can do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up because I'm not always on time. Sorry, folks. <laughs> also, don't forget to check out my Patreon. New tutorials there weekly. And each month, if you're on the Super Patreon tier, tier, you get a PDF download of a painting that I've created that you can use for your personal use. Um, and this, this Thursday is the 1st of October, so there'll be a new PDF download there. And also new tutorials there weekly. And uh, oh, my amazing art channel, which is my acrylic channel, is in my description box and my about page. It's fun tutorials over there. Well, more demos, and I don't do tutorials. It's too much to do two channels with tutorials. But there are demos over there using palette knives and just acrylic paint and brushes. So thank you guys so much. I hope you had a great day, and take care, and I'll speak to you soon.